We're up in the Swan Range, and this week we had reports of a remotely triggered avalanche. We also got observations that uh, people were finding buried surface horror with easy propagation snow pit tests. We just got to upper elevations on leeward aspects and found that buried surface horror. And we were walking this ridge line, we noticed some older avalanches, but as soon as I got to the right at the edge, it was um, just walked up to it and we just remotely triggered the slope. The slab was about a foot thick to a foot and a half thick at its deepest point. Um, really, this is mainly where we're concerned today. We're writing this train off as no go to train today. We're going to stick to more windward aspects where that surface were likely got destroyed before more snow fell on it. Uh, but right now, these are the slopes we're avoiding. Currently, we only have evidence this problem exists in the Swan Range. Just after this video, we triggered a second avalanche with a small cornice fall. It is proven to be more sensitive to the weight of a human where winds drifted snow into thicker slabs. The visual clue you will want to look for in hand pits is a gray stripe. If you find it, switch aspects or keep slope angles relatively low. You are less likely to run into this problem on south and west facing aspects.